Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Draft Chats. Today I'm joined by Mike Sweet Left Foot for an episode where we take on the Premier League's best players, but only those who are left-footed. An interesting choice by Mr. Sweet Left Foot himself, of course. He goes from the name. But if you're enjoying the series so far, feel free to hit that subscribe button right now and give the video a big thumbs up. And let's head over to Mike and get started. And welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joined by Mike, aka Sweet Left Foot. How you doing, mate? Very good, thank you, Murph. How are you, sir? Very, very good, mate. Looking forward to this one. So I mentioned the intro, stipulation, Premier League players, left footed players only. I'm gonna get my first pick quickly before I run out of time with Mr. Romelu Lukaku and oh, go straight in there with that one. You know how the engine's working this year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with my, my favourite player in world football at the moment. I'm gonna go with uh Bukayo Saka. Of course. And that leads us straight to the first question. Obviously, you are an Arsenal fan. Is there any origin story behind the sport? Like, loving Arsenal, being an Arsenal fan? Is there anything behind that? Or it's just... Well, I'll let you explain it. Yeah, there's... Well, weirdly, my, my dad supports West Ham, but he never raised me as a, a West Ham fan. My mum supports Arsenal and uh, her dad, um, my, my granddad from my mum's side, supports Arsenal as well. And I guess that's how I was was raised as an Arsenal fan. I lived with her, grew up with her, so I'm assuming that's how I've I've got that. I do remember I did support um well, you know when you're young, like eight, nine, you just sort of float around different teams. Yeah. I did support Liverpool for a while. Okay. Um, and then changed <laughs> beautifully just before um but just after Liverpool won the FA Cup against Arsenal. So I saw <laughs> Liverpool win that and then thought Sure, I'll switch teams now and go somewhere <laughs> They've won something now. I don't want to be a glory hunter. I'll go to the next one instead. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. I'll go to the team that's just lost and give them some support. <laughs> that's amazing, mate. If I've, I've like, I always grew up in the Birmingham City fan. I never had that, like, another team sort of thing. Like, I've always, like, kept on my other teams. Like, I loved watching Ajax when I was younger in Dortmund. They've always had them ones in other countries, but yeah. I've never had another one in England. It's always been a bit of a weird one for me. I put it down to the age. Like, I wouldn't do it now. I yeah. definitely wouldn't do it now. Just just because I was about eight, I thought, oh, I can... F You're at the age where you think you can just float around different teams and go from there. I mean, when I was a kid, I think I had, like, I had, like, a variety of different shirts. I'd have, like, Man United shirts, Liverpool shirts, and stuff, just to wear the football training and stuff. And, like, because I like yeah, the players, yeah. but I was never, like... I was just, like, ca like, a casual fan at that point, I think. But I think deep down, I was like, oh, I'm not a Birmingham City fan, but I'll still casually buy all the different shirts. I never yeah. owned a Villa one, obviously, but beside no, that... No. <laughs> You never for the rival like, ones. It's like me owning a Spurs <laughs> shirt. It never happens. Oh, don't matter. It's uh, like, like, some people know this to come in the stream and stuff, but like my father-in-law, like his old fan, they're, they're all Spurs fans. There's like Spurs mm. flags behind me. This house is full of Spurs stuff. And it's just real of Spurs stuff in the whole house, man. It, it, it's a curse. I didn't realise it was me picking and I've just oh. panicked there. I've waited I mean, 59 seconds to pick I mean, you, you got Mo Salah, so it isn't, isn't the worst pick, I guess, is it really? It could be much worse, mate, than Mo Salah. So thinking, hold on, why is Merv not picking? And I realise that is me. <laughs> yeah, people, like, in the previous episodes, people have mentioned it's harder to, like, answer questions and draft at the same time. It is an absolute nightmare trying to do both. <laughs> it's, it's a ch I haven't done this before, so it's yeah. a challenge. But I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying the chaos of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. It ends up being chaos. You're just like... Chatting away, answering questions, and then suddenly, oh god, it's my turn. <laughs> I've got five yeah, seconds. <laughs> get someone yeah, quickly. I better get a striker. I've, I mean, oh, I've got Salah actually, haven't I? Um, I mean, you got Moe. He, he can score goals. He can do yeah, something. He's, he's great, is Moe. He's, he's, he's all right, Moe, isn't he? He ain't bad for a former Liverpool fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, going back to young Mike, how about getting, getting the football manager? Where did the love start football manager? Did it start at an early age, or is it come a bit later on in life? Do you remember um, like your first teams you managed or any highlights to do with young white playing football manager? It started young. So my, my cousin, I think he's about six or seven years older than me. He um, played football manager a lot. And this was back in like the championship manager days. He used to have it on the Xbox. Um, my, my next door neighbor, who was um, a couple of years older than me as well, used to play it on the PC. So I had two like older male influences that played it a lot. And obviously I've, 
like watched them, looked up to them. So I thought, oh, these guys are really enjoying this game. What's this game about? Had a look and played it when it was much simpler and much less detailed than what it is now. Oh, yeah. Um, and then year on year just made it sort of a, a continuation to buy the next version of the game. I don't think I've missed one since uh, 2001, 2002 now. Yeah, so about to say it was me then. So I think I first started playing it was around then probably. I got to do it a bit later yeah. to be honest, but like again, it's one of them ones. Once you picked it up, you kind of get a bit hooked, don't you? Really? Exactly that. Once exactly. it is a, a game that will hook you, and I mean, I I enjoy it. There's nothing I'd like more if if every game sort of just disappears and I had to pick one to to stick with me for life. It would probably be Football Manager. Yeah. Just especially year on year, there's so many different challenges, different teams you can manage. Um, different sorts of saves. It, it's just consistently refreshing, renewing as well. So, yeah, I, I played it for about 20 years now, I think. And um, I'm probably enjoying it more now. I've had great saves in the past, but yeah, probably enjoying it more now than uh, I ever have. Yeah. So, I mean, I just got the next question. Obviously, then enjoying it more because of content creation, I'm guessing, as well, sort of thing, being out there streaming and stuff. So yeah. with that in mind, when did it all start the content creation side of side of things? Like because but like I know I started around the start of lockdown sort of thing and being in the country, but a bit more in depth, how that all happened for you? So we was in uh lockdown and obviously work had stopped, so I was getting very bored. And I thought I, I used to watch uh, certain people on YouTube, so I watched uh, Second Yellow Card um ben dr benji worked the space they were the three sort of main guys that i watched and i didn't even know twitch was a thing this was all through youtube and i thought i think i could have a good go at this i i, I like fm i like talking to people i feel like i'm quite approachable if i put the time in and, and learn how to sort of edit and, and set up a stream and put a lot of man hours in maybe i could do this and i, I had a look at the equipment i had i think i had a laptop and that was it so Initially, I thought all I need is a microphone and a cam, and I'm good to go. Yeah. Got those things. Tried to record content on a laptop that was just not built for <laughs> anything like that. Not built to run those things <laughs> at all. Um, and in the end, had to buy a PC. Um, and then I just tried my hand at originally YouTube content, uh, and then discovered Twitch. Uh, and really wanted to sort of stream on there. I like the the fact that it's live and you can interact with people there and then. I really enjoyed that that aspect of things, that side of things. And it sort of took off from there, really. Uh, put a lot more time into sort of like channel art and things and, and spent a lot of time watching other people and, and learning and still asking. I mean, second yellow card, he must get so annoyed. <laughs> the amount of questions <laughs> I ask him. Even now, like 18 months in, I'd still like act as a sponge and just try and learn as much as I possibly can from someone like himself. Oh, yeah. Um, Can't just, blame just you, really. Trying to build sort of the knowledge and, and keep improving and keep getting better. But as, a, as an idea, I'm really glad I've, I've done it, especially as it's built such a nice community. I speak to more people now through streaming and i've probably made more friends through this than than i speak to in in real life now and i think that's oh, same <laughs> yeah if, if this was all to disappear and and put manager you know cease to exist and content around the game stopped I, i'd still have a, a lot of i say a lot of friends a lot of people i'd, I'd talk to from that that i think sure oh, this is great like i'm i'm very happy with um how this is all this is all developed and all come around I agree. I think it's the same for a lot of people, though. And obviously, getting into it during the lockdown period when you couldn't see people as well, sort of thing, it was that physical interaction with other people, making new yeah. friends through this content and through like this medium. So it's just, it's the best way of meeting new people, honestly. I agree. Completely agree. Like, we haven't really spoke in depth before this. Um, but this, I, I had the same thing um, with other people when I've gone on and chatted to them. Uh, about uh, content or on pods and things i've then spoke to them so much more often um yeah and well hopefully that that happens here unless you you saw me in this draft then i just <laughs> i mean my, re my record isn't great <laughs> let's put no. it that way so <laughs> i think you got a bit more of a better record than me in these so we're going back on your record i've seen so far within the playoffs and everything else i've <laughs> It's been okay. I mean, the previous playoff performance was terrible. But... Oh, that one, yeah. But... Yeah, we won't talk about that one. I mean, the Super League one went all right for you, though, so... 
Yeah, a couple of yeah, you got, you got your little trophy trophies and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that. Still got them. I think they're uh, they're on my windowsill actually. Oh yeah, <laughs> one on either side. I can see them now. They look great. <laughs> well, going on to I mentioned about the playoffs. I mentioned about the Super League. Let's get fast forward a little bit now. Streamer showdown. Mm -hmm. Go invite you to your first one. You worked yep. on the play by play stuff, and then you played in your first one along, alongside Omega Luke as well. How's that experience been for you so far? Doing them? Uh, that's been great. It's um, it was oh, you've got Emerson. That's such a great pick. I'm so annoyed. Oh, I, I, I missed my pick. <laughs> I didn't even realize oh, my pick. I, <laughs> I didn't even want him. I've got three left backs already now. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Emerson, Robertson, Emerson, and Dinye. Oh my god, I'm playing one in oh, midfield then. Right back. That's such a great pick. That's, that's perfect. I need, I need a right back. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even realize. Um, Amazing. Yeah, the, the showdown. I, I, I think it was August of 2020. Um, I first got a message from Ben. I'd been streaming for a couple of months and uh, I got a message from Ben asking if I'd like to be involved. And I said, like, immediately, yes, that'd be like perfect. Thank you. Um, and did the lowdown with, with the guys on there, which was really good fun. Nerve wracking because it's like my first time being involved in something like that. But oh, I bet. really, really good fun, really enjoyable. Um, so did, I think, two lowdowns. And then uh, I think it was the final FM of FM20 um, got called up to, to be in the showdown, got to the final and lost to Matt, which at the time <laughs> I was a bit bugged about, but there's no one better I could have lost to at that time. It no. felt like, oh, okay, I don't mind losing to Matt because it is Matt. Yeah, it's kind of go, go, gone full circle sort of thing, like first speaking out to him sort of thing to then playing him on that sort of stage in front of him, like, exactly, many exactly more people that. than you were used to at the time in your chat and stuff sort of thing, like a much bigger stage. Yeah, and it it sort of helped me, like the the growth from the showdown and just having my name out there being recognised, so I owe them a lot to where the channel is now. Um, but just, just like talking to other creators and being involved with other creators and, and working with them was just so much fun. And I think that really made me appreciate like the engagement between people and people always say how good the FM community is already. And like as someone that Oh definitely started, Yeah, someone that started brand new uh, and came in looking for some sort of like guidance or uh, role models or people to look up to and, and act as a sponge with, uh, I literally couldn't have asked for, for much better, especially so early on. Oh definitely. It's such a, a, like, a fast rise as well, sort of thing in a couple of months, but I guess half it comes down to obviously with lockdown and stuff sort of thing and then the personality you are sort of thing on your streams like you can come into your stream at any time you know you're having an enjoyable engaging conversation with that person who's gonna have mm -hmm. a laugh they can have fun at their own expense and with the like, com like communication with everyone else around them as well yeah I think that definitely it's, does help uh, sort of thing yeah and that's one thing I like to do with the, with the streams just make people feel really welcome and and part of the community whether they've come from a raid or they they found me through other means um I, I really try and make a point of the the people that are first time chatters or or just followed to, to get them involved and make them feel really welcome and and like they have like a sense of belonging if that makes sense yeah because you don't know like I, I have no idea who these people are or what they're doing sort of behind <laughs> the, the the camera or what they look like or anything yeah um and you know i always look at things like uh I want them to enjoy their experience, even if it is for a minute, 10 minutes, an hour. If they have given me the time to come in and check out the stream, then the least I can do is, is make them feel as welcome as possible. I agree, mate. Is it like, is, is like you, do, you do get that straight away sort of thing. Like I'll, I'll go to a number of your streams, you know, personally anyway, but mm. there's always interaction with every person that comes in sort of thing, no matter if they're a first time chatter or long term, like yeah. you always make the effort with every single person that gets involved, which is great to see. Yeah, and it's like you said, it makes them feel, hopefully, feel good, and hopefully they 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 come, they enjoy what they see, and they they come back. That's the best thing, right? To to get that viewer retention, keep them keep them coming back for more. <laughs> well, let's get away from Twitch for a moment. We'll go over to YouTube content. You've mm -hmm. been a bit like sporadic with it, honestly. And there's something I want to get into a little bit more. Is it due to the streaming, or because of work, or other stuff going on personally, or is there any reason behind that? Um. It's going to sound bad, but I think it's the fact that I'm just a bit lazy with it. There's there's a few things that come into it. I'm, I'm, the editing was fun to begin with, but then it 
turned into not a chore, but because my editing skills are quite limited, like I'm looking at other people's videos and, and the way they edit their things. And I'm really sort of like blown away by how good their stuff is. And I want my stuff to be just as good. So I've put a lot more time into trying to learn how to edit. I'm still not great at it. Um, so that could be something I look to like outsource in the future. Cause I feel like yeah. I've got some fun ideas and I do enjoy putting, um, putting YouTube comment, uh, comment content out. Um, but I just, I just want it to be sort of say the best. I want it to be as good as I can possibly make it. Um, am I really about to pick Nicholas Pepe? With my last <laughs> picks? I think I am. Oh, goodness. Uh, I mean, I mean, why not? Why uh, not? <laughs> I feel like I've made a mistake there. Picking Nicholas Pepe. I'm not even playing with wingers. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I've got three left backs. So I won't worry about honestly. <laughs> I'm looking for a my team quickly now. I'm just thinking, I don't know where some stuff's going to happen in this game. But <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I'm tempted to pick Granite Xhaka next just for the Arsenal memes. I, I was tempted. I've, I've, I've been hovering over him for a few times now. I'm like, mm, do, do I really go there? Just going to see if he pops up on your name. If not, <laughs> oh, he's not even left um, footed. Tomorrow. Where were we? Sorry, Mark. No, well, uh, YouTube content. Um, yes. <laughs> so yeah, so that as well, and, and I think I enjoy Twitch more. Um, yeah. Just because I, I I think I need to put a lot more time into the YouTube channel to to have it grow and be consistent. Whereas Twitch, I feel like, is a lot more me, a lot more like we said, interactive, um, a lot more engaging. Like it's live. And there's no sort of time limit. If you want to stream for an hour, two hours, four hours, you, you can do whatever you want there. Um, oh, agreed. I've got one more pick. Can I pick Granite Xhaka? I mean, I, I wouldn't blame you. 17, you monster. <laughs> I thought, you know what? I'm gonna, he might do 17. He might do with that. No, no. I want the 18. I want Granite Xhaka in the score. <laughs> Granite Xhaka, I'm waiting for the red card. I'm waiting for the karate kick someone. Oh, imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> well, on that note, guys, we're back in a short moment with the match. Sweet left foot versus Murph Fem. We'll see you there. So here we go, then, guys. Here are the lineups for our game today. Oh, back five. Rafinha is a fullback. Well, it was a wing back. That's, that's interesting. You took Emerson. I had to, I had to <laughs> <laughs> improvise. <laughs> Rafinha, oh, my God. I mean, I, I, that's something I didn't expect to see at all. It'll work. If it works now, then... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bielsa will be watching. Can I play him there in the future? <laughs> yeah, literally. Can I, can I get him involved there? Can I get... Right wing back? Right wing back? It's not even the right side, is it? He's, he's, a, he's a left footed player. He's left footed player. Right it's not even on the right side for him. Oh, God, he's going to hate it. I mean, hopefully, we don't bully him too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, 2001 saw the rise of the Kaiser Sluts. If you imagine Kaiser Sluts over on Twitch, one mm. of the funniest experiences of your Twitch life, surely, man. Like, there's some great content to watch. I, I loved watching those streams, man. How was it for you yeah. overall? It was great. It was my first proper, um, my first proper Twitch save on yeah. Football Manager. Like my first long term one that I really thought I could get stuck into uh, and enjoy. Uh, it was just so much fun, like taking over a team that was sort of like a fallen giant. I had a, had a massive fall from grace in Germany. Uh, I like my saves to have a story behind them or a, a reason to be that team rather than just picking, oh, I'm just going to be team A or team B for no reason whatsoever. I like there to be some sort of reasoning <laughs> to why I'm that team. And I watched uh, a couple of videos on Kaiserslautern and thought, okay, these are okay. That's good. Um, didn't expect it to go quite as long as it did but it had the perfect like ending it came to a finish at the perfect time had a, a slight break in the middle to do all the euro streams but sort of picked it back up quite easily and i think that was one of the main saves that that grew the channel and um attracted more people and and like you said you've it was the first one you've uh watched properly long term oh oh, oh definitely oh where's he gone <laughs> getting the wrong way mo getting the wrong way. Um, oh oh <laughs> oh my days Oh goodness! What a, what oh, a yeah, chance! The, 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 the case lots were were amazing. Like there was such a such a fun save, and that's that's one of those saves that I think I'll have the save file forever. I just won't get rid of that. Yeah, I think all of them ones, man. I've got I've got one from FM two years ago, and I haven't got the game I'm installed no more. I kept the file on my hard drive. I was like, just in case, just in case, I go on Steam yeah. and one day just have a quick look. You know, oh my god, oh. where's that, where's Edison gone? <laughs> the f oh my god, I mocked him being a wing back and he scored. 
Rafinha. Why did, why did I muck him? I cursed myself with that, really, didn't I? Why is it, where's Edison going here? <laughs> He's nowhere near it. <laughs> uh, do, do, do you remember a few minutes ago, Murph said, Rafinha at right wing back. He's, what a, what a Oh, my <laughs> God. Defensive minded attacker. I mean, that's like, um, I shouldn't have spoken. I cursed myself, didn't I, really? I swear, <laughs> yeah, it happens every time with these shows. Like, I, I comment on one person's thing every time I play someone. I'm like, why are you doing that then for, like, every time they score? That's it's a curse, mate. It's an absolute curse. It's not okay. scripted, which <laughs> I'm going to quickly mention them, actually, about the Euro stuff. Obviously, you did the challenge where you... Oh! 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 Hang on. What, what, oh. What's wrong? There's not enough Cybers there. I, s I swear that show wasn't offside. I, oh. I think it's counted. It's counted. So he's nowhere near offside. I thought he was marginally... Oh, it might be the... Who's... Oh, there's lo loads of people playing him on. <laughs> he's definitely outside. <laughs> 30 He's got so much space, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not one marking him. So yeah, sorry, no. I was saying about the Euros content. Obviously, did you managed every team that was in the Euros to see who mm -hmm. could actually win it in the end? I mean, that that again, like, is a great idea. So no, no one else is doing. I saw people actually doing like England stuff on YouTube and on Twitch and stuff, but no mm -hmm. one controlling every single team that was in the Euros and seeing if they could win with every single team it was like a great, a great original idea. Yeah, it was a. I think it took me about a month. Maybe just over because so, some countries, um, I just knew oh. we, we we wouldn't do very well. Whereas yeah. some, <laughs> like the best country, you think, oh, this could last an entire stream. But the the countries that you thought, oh, we're, we're going to be out in the groups potentially, you could fit two in one stream. Um, but yeah, nobody was really well. Not that I remember nobody was doing that. I thought it was a really good idea. It it's it's fun. It's different. It involves the audience because they were helping like pick who we could take as well and like on the journey with me and it, it happened at the time of the euro so it made sense to sort of i needed a break from kaiserslautern so yeah i was getting a bit not bored but it became very repetitive um because we were winning the league a lot but we just couldn't get the champions league and i thought let's just have a a break do something different do something fun do something that nobody else is really doing and and go from there and wouldn't mind <sighs> say doing the same thing for the world cup obviously there's uh, i think more teams so it yeah is it 32 over. yeah that's, it's 32 teams <laughs> it's and it's at christmas as well so it's going to be quite quite busy already <laughs> yeah we'll see <laughs> we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> you could, it's definitely a good idea though to be fair though like i said i really enjoyed when you did them ones man they were fully enjoyable man that summer watching that stuff yeah and we, then... we won a few as well it's weird we won we we one with teams that we didn't expect to win with. I think uh, we won with the Netherlands and um, who else did I win it with? I know I won it with Germany. I think I won it with Belgium as well. Yeah. Nations like France. I think I can't remember who I went out to. England didn't do very well with Italy. I think I went out to <laughs> on penalties to someone like Sweden or Denmark. So there was a, a mixed bag of results, but it was it was really good fun. No, it was incredible content. And going back to that summer as well then, in that summer, you made partner on Twitch as well. Was that every like something you actually expected to happen, sort of thing? Like, it's a the blue tick came out of nowhere. I put, like not out of nowhere. I'd say like the numbers are incredible during that summer from the Kaiser Slot and stuff going into the Euro stuff. Do you think it was a mixture of the two saves or what? That actually like ticked over in the end. Um, I think yeah, a, a mixture of the two. Uh, it came at a good time because I don't think the game cycle was um dying out but it came at a time where i think people were sort of maybe taking breaks from fm whereas i was staying quite consistent with streaming and stream times and things and making sure i'm live and in, again involving people as much as possible and doing things that i think people would enjoy and i did apply once and it got rejected but the rejection came with like a, a, essentially a guide to c carry on what you're doing um do this do that and I thought, okay, let's do that. And they said, reapply in three to four weeks. So yeah. I waited four weeks, uh, reapplied, and I had a look, and numbers for, across every category were up. You know, uh, follows, subs, hours streamed, minutes watched, um, engagements, chats, etc. <sighs> everything was up. There was green arrows everywhere. So I thought, well, everything has improved since the first, since the first uh, application. So surely now this is a good time to send in another one. Um, yeah. It, it it works like i didn't oh, oh. oh. what a strike 
Is that an assist by Rafinha, by the way? <laughs> the comment. <laughs> Oh, dear. I think it is. Salah oh. finds it, doesn't he? Look at Gabriel yeah, gives it him. Yeah. It's Gabriel that gives it him. Oh. oh good Mate, you, t- you tell he's left footed. I'll tap it that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, I remember God. there were times where I'd look at my <laughs> Twitch numbers and my average viewers over, like, you had to hit 75 minimum, and mine were like 25, 30. And I thought, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think, I thought, oh, I'm never, never going to make that. Like, especially so soon. But um, when it happened, I remember I was, I was on a golf course and I got the email. And she went, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. People like looked up to say, what is Gavin? <laughs> <laughs> why is, why is this man screaming? <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, there's so many people that helped me get it. Like the, all the guys in club shop um, that were sort of encouraging it and, and helping me in any way possible. People like that were raiding in and um i made it a point not to say that oh we've applied when we did apply because i didn't want numbers to drop i wanted to maintain the the numbers and keep things as high as possible and everything just fell into place it worked and it's a really like proud moment i know it's like just a tick but like you said a lot of work oh a lot of work goes into it a lot of time a lot of effort and a lot of engagement and yeah it was a lot of passion like I, i really wanted it um really wanted it especially as i'm I'm literally a football manager streamer i don't really yeah. dream any other games like every now and again yeah but predominantly football manager and i think it had been a while i think clates was the last one possibly that got partner from like purely football manager yeah so i don't think so oh. oh oh was he off surely not he can't be unless the pass to odegaard was from the corner rodrigo yeah oh. i think it was in the short corner oh no it's given Goal! Oh, it's a throw. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's, never he's... off. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's not involved in that one. <laughs> nope, not for once. <laughs> um. Yeah, I felt proud because it felt like there hadn't been a an, a football manager partner in a while, and and to get that purely off that the, off the game, I, I was I was really really happy. Yeah. Oh, Rafinha again. <laughs> sorry, Rafinha's distracting me now, man. He's in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Rafinha's in my head, man. Are you making so, sub? I'm like, I'm, I'm, making I'm, I've, I've got to do something, man. Try and combat this. <laughs> I've got to try and do something to combat this. <laughs> so I want to get into like full time Prince now. You've mentioned on stream, it's been the pop line for a while. Um, do you care to get a bit more in depth into it? Like where the idea started, where you see it branching out in the future? Yeah, so I, I had the idea for a while and I made like graphics for Kaiserslautern but never showed anybody because I thought they were rubbish or I thought it's an idea that could develop into something so like from halfway through 2021 it, it was an idea and I thought this would be really cool you know there's lots of options that I can do as as prints um as opposed to just like best 11s or, or team like you could do team sheets or word arts player profiles etc lots of things so people can remember certain aspects of their save bars and I thought there's so many saves that I wish I had this option for like lots of different things or like matches or, or players. Um, Cause we do like as football manager players get attached to certain saves and teams. Oh, definitely. It, it happens. I thought it'd be really nice to have like something to remember that by. Um, so for those of you that don't know, full-time prints is a, a collection of, of personalized uh, prints all framed sent to you um to commemorate your or an aspect of your football manager save and i think i started it about two months ago and it's been going really well up until now there's obviously things that i want to do to continue to market it better uh, including like affiliate links um i need to throw a reviews page on there as well but there's a lot of ideas i've got to do more um, yeah but at the moment whereas it's still getting off the ground and growing the prints that are on there seem to be doing quite well and there's there's a print sort of for everyone like whether you've done um you won a champions league or you've got a player that you like or there's bespoke print ideas like i did one a hexagon challenge for someone which was really good fun to make so that's there's, cool. there's print for everyone it's it's enjoyable to make as well and see all these different saves and and players and and competitions and and ideas Oh, amazing, mate. I've, I've enjoyed it. From what I've seen of this stuff so far, it all looks incredible, mate, by the way. So, but there will be links down below for everyone. Have a look. Get your orders in there. Treat yourself. Valentine's Day. Get on for the missus. Oh, yeah. Birthdays, Christmas. 
all sorts. All of it, all year, all year round. Easter present, all year round. All year I, round. Uh, <laughs> I was really nervous to start it because it's that whole idea of the unknown or what if people don't like it or aren't interested. And there was a few mistakes when I first started in, in sort of the website and things. But, um, oh, oh. oh Paddy Bamford, oh my God, I've been Bamford. absolutely ruined here. <laughs> Um, I'm so glad I took the leap just to do it. Yeah, and fix things as I go. Uh, it's the first time I've done anything like that, and I got a lot of advice and a lot of help, which was great. Um, so it's been like a a, a team effort as well to to sort of get it get it off the ground. I'm just oh, going to bring Granit Xhaka. <laughs> I mean, you, you fall one ahead. You you may as well at this point. I've been absolutely whipped. <laughs> he gets a minute. Oh. He gets a minute. He can come on for the trophy lift. I mean, fair play, oh, I mate. Him. She came captain as well for the last minute. Why not? Congratulations. But well, before we do anything, here, I do have one thought. I want to mention quickly about the Christmas submarathon. Obviously, it was, <laughs> it was interesting to say the least. Yeah. Um, I mentioned to you, obviously, I came in about three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Going to work and there's you eat the dog biscuit and Jack worked the space doing a catwalk. And I was like, what have I came into? <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was a 12 hour cap because I, I I don't feel like I function well after 12 hours. <laughs> so I thought 11 to 11 is, is good. Like for a long time to be, you know, sitting down at the desk doing, yeah. like, looking at monitors. Um, I just like personally don't function well after that time. And we sort of, when there was 12 hours, we hit the 12 hours. I thought there's two hours left on the, on the timer. Do I just keep going? I thought, oh, I'll tell with it. Let's just keep going. Obviously, time <laughs> got added on more, so it ended up being, I think, nearly 19 hours, which was good fun. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Jack came on at about three. <laughs> I think he was drunk. He was having some vodka and doing catwalks. I went and got dog biscuits and, and had a shoey out of, uh, I think it was a, quite a nice shoe as well. It was a dress shoe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think I needed that just to keep things going. But it was a lot of fun. I tried to make it Christmas themed, Christmas related. Yeah. Um, Going to do another one. Well, depending on how the next few months go um either in summer or or slightly before but try and do a an uncapped one and just see how long um <laughs> it can go for god i'd probably include sleep in that as well the bed's only just there so sleep but, stream but that's it. But it was so much fun like people raiding in and, and contributing and People getting involved like it. I think I did drafts against um, second year card Luke and Breezy. Uh, Viking Dan was going to do one as well, but he had PC problems. But again, like great for people to just contribute and get involved. Uh, did some GeoGuessr, and obviously people in the chat got involved there as well. So yeah. it was good. It was kept going <laughs> by obviously everybody else. It relies on everybody else, and of course, people seem to enjoy it and have fun. And like yourself, coming in at three, four in the morning, getting ready for work <laughs> and seeing. Dog biscuits and vodka being enjoyed was, was great. Fun. Just, I'm just thinking. I wish I could have a vodka right now, but no, I'll start work. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, man, no, this has been this has been absolutely incredible, man. It's lovely to have you on the channel. Even if you have absolutely battered me, showing everyone that Rafinha can actually play right wing back. He can play right wing back. <laughs> has he got man of the match, by the way? Oh, no, he didn't. It was oh, I don't know. How, I mean, Silver's goal probably deserves it, but I mean, Rafinha's input. Yeah. Next level. I saw, well, um, <laughs> sorry, Merv, Luke, Luke mentioned to me that wingers could work as wing backs, and I, I think he's right. Rafinha's marking and tackling is well, tackling to 12. Yeah, so he's I'm not, not bad here, really. But I, I do think there's a like wing wingers could, could work as wing backs. It's something I might try more in the future. One for the future, definitely. Well, yeah, for everyone get watching, back on, get back on we'll do it again. <laughs> Round two, where, where's Rafinha yeah. playing this time? Wide centre back Rafinha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just see him doing the length of the pitch. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be crying, mate. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it now. Wide centre-back attack. Just see what happens. Uh, that, that's an experiment and a half there, mate. Rafinha at wide centre-back. How far does it go for a season? How many goals? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, for everyone watching, where can they find you? Obviously, full-time prints, everything like that. Where can they find all this stuff? Yeah, so they can find my... Well, you can find myself at uh, youtube.com forward slash sweet left foot. Uh, is it sweet left foot FM? I think it's Sweet Left Foot. Sweet Left Foot. It's Sweet Left Foot FM on Twitter because uh, someone else has got the Sweet Left Foot name and Terrible. haven't logged on in the last 10 years. So that's great. <laughs> uh, so YouTube and Twitch, uh, Sweet Left Foot. Twitter, Sweet Left Foot FM. 
And you can find Full Time Prints at uh, twitter.com forward slash Full Time Prints and at Full Time Prints dot com to shop for your own personalized print i'm i'm upselling it and um i'm loving it <laughs> <laughs> well all the links will be down below if anyone is interested in getting involved getting your prints in there as i mentioned valentine's day can up very very soon perfect present for the missus or the miss stack treat them well, why well, not <laughs> if you've got a picture of you and your your significant other just pop that away for a bit and just pop a print there <laughs> a little bow on it and she'll love it or he'll love it he'll exactly love it. Why not? Well, Mike, thanks so much for being involved today, mate. Cheers for showing me that Rafinha can play as a wing back. I'm going to try that yeah. in the future. And we'll catch you around very soon, mate. Thanks again for being involved. And guys, if you have enjoyed the video, of course, as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers, Murph. Bye, guys. See you guys. Thank you.